Welcome to All Things ETH. My name is Aaron. On this channel, we talk about all things Ethereum. Uh, just a reminder, this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. On this channel, we talk about um, projects, play to earn, NFTs, and price of all things Ethereum. So let's jump right in. Um, I was reading this on Coinbase today. This, uh, let me share my screen with you. This little, uh, I was in Coinbase. I was checking out, um, you know, the price of Axie Infinity token in particular. And it says that the co-founder of Axie Infinity finds it really hard to begin playing Axie right now. So this isn't actually his opinion, obviously. This is the opinion of many people. Um, in the article, it actually says that the unbanked are really struggling, um, but still managing to get in to the Axie Infinity world. And with um, about 2 million active users, daily active users, um, half of them, he said, are unbanked, um, somehow still playing, which is fantastic. I'm, I do think this is from the scholarship point of view, probably not the, the ownership point of view, but um, I wanted to make a video about how to get started in the Axie Infinity world. There are some hoops that you have to jump through, especially if you've never been a part of crypto, but you want to get in and start playing Axie Infinity and earning uh, SLP and possibly even earning the a AXS token, which um, the price of AXS right now, guys, is jumping. It's over $100 a coin. I bet it, last time I checked, it was as a $125, um, $125 a token. And just last month, I bought most of mine for about $70 to $75 to do some breeding. And I'm kicking myself for for uh, to for breeding, um, spending three or four uh, AXS tokens because now the axes that I own are actually um, a little bit cheaper than the the combined assets of all the tokens I put together to make them. However, I do think the economy is going to rise um, with more players, and this is why I'm making this video. So. Let's jump into how to get started with Axie Infinity. So <clears throat> the first thing you'll need to do is buy some Ethereum. So um, if you're not on Coinbase or Binance or in these, you, you know, if you're if you're in Robinhood, you can't actually buy Ethereum. Um, you can you can invest in Ethereum. Um, I know a lot of people who are on. Um, you know that platform also Weeble is the same way if you're invested in Ethereum on Weeble um, you are not able to take those tokens off so I highly recommend getting yourself a Coinbase account or getting onto Binance and doing the same thing um, and in this respect Binance is actually a little bit better um, I use Coinbase personally but there are some um, advantages to using Binance right now with if uh, with uh, the um, Ronin wallet, which is the wallet that you'll need in the Axie Infinity, which we'll talk to, um, which we'll go over in just a little bit here. But the first thing you'll need to do is buy some Ethereum. I recommend Coinbase. Um, it is um, a company that is traded on the U.S. Uh, or the New York Stock Exchange. Um, I tend to be a little bit uh, less worried about companies that I've done an IPO because um, they are conforming to the regulations um, in the finance world and they're publicly traded, which means they're audited and all these things. Binance um, has uh, talked about doing that, has not done it yet, and so that's why I'm mostly doing Coinbase right now. But how do you buy Ethereum and Coinbase? You set up an account, you um, connect your, um, your bank accounts, which I've already done, and then you go to this buy and sell um, button here and then you're going to say I want to change from Bitcoin to Ethereum because Ethereum is what you'll need to buy Axie Infinities because um, it's based on the Ethereum network, the, the um, contracts that create the NFTs and how the game is played is all based um, or built on the Ethereum network. So. Um, Let's buy a thousand dollars. I'm not going to actually do it. I'm just going to show you today. But this is the process of going through that you'd go through in order to um, purchase Axie Infinity. So hit the buy now. Get yourself some 
um, Ethereum here, and then the next step is going to uh, MetaMask, because MetaMask is going to be your transfer wallet into the Axie Infinity marketplace. Um, so I'm in Chrome. Uh, I find it uh, to be the best way to use the Axie, the, the, the MetaMask wallet. Um, it does come up as an extension, so hit the download button. Let's actually look at the process. Um, install MetaMask for Chrome right at the bottom here. You can do it for iOS and Android. Um, I do use uh, Chrome on my iOS device. In fact, um, Coinbase is on iOS as well, so it's it's wonderful to go um, you know transfer funds from Coinbase to MetaMask via my phone. Super simple. Um, I'm doing it on my computer today to show you um, what I will say up front is if you're wanting to get into Axie Infinity right now. Um, it's not available currently on the iOS platform. Um, you can play it on Mac, you can play it on Windows, and you can play it on Android, but you can't currently play it um, mobile on iOS yet. Should be out this year, maybe early next year, but um, I've been playing it on my computer. Just want to give you a heads up there, so just in case you were wondering um, why you can't, um, you know, why we get to that step, why you can't play it on iOS yet. It's just not available um, on the on the App Store. So download the Chrome extension for your MetaMask, go back into Coinbase, and then hit this button that says Send Receive. And then um, you'll want to uh, type in your MetaMask, um, or copy and paste, rather, your MetaMask account. So um, pull up your MetaMask here. Excuse me. And then you'll just hit this button here to copy uh, to clipboard your um, your accounts or your um, your wallet address rather. So we'll punch that over here. Oh. <clears throat> yep, should work. Address. Ethereum option doesn't seem to be working. Let me try it again. MetaMask. Copy, paste. Oh yeah, here's the balance. Um, I do have one ETH. Cool. Um, actually, that's yes, that's a send. So I'm gonna. I don't want to send. Um, oh yeah, I have to type in the amount. Of course. Here we go. Um, so let's pretend that I'm gonna send a thousand dollars worth of ETH to. Uh, my MetaMask, you hit continue here, and then you can see the, the fees. So um, I'm not actually going to do this because I don't need to, um, but uh, <clears throat> there's zero Coinbase fee um, in ETH. The network fee, which is the, the Ethereum network fee, is going to be zero, um, zero uh, really low actually. I mean, um, $9.45 to send. Uh, make an Ethereum uh, transaction is actually fairly low, so um, I would uh, I've seen transaction um, you know uh, costs or fees for the Ethereum network in particular quite a bit higher. I've paid as high as I think fifty to sixty dollars. So right now is a great time to get in um, to just to transfer, but I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to show you what that would look like, and then um, if you sent it, it would go into your MetaMask. I do have. A tiny bit, like a dollar twenty-four in USD right now, worth of ETH um, in my MetaMask. So that's that's what you want to do. You want to transfer, and I would recommend uh, roughly a thousand dollars to get started at to get some decent axes over in the marketplace. So what's the next step? The next step is to go to Axie Infinity, and AxieInfinity.com is going to pop up here. And if you hit the Get Started button, you're going to get this. Um, uh, prompts to download the Ronin wallet. So um, create your own Ronin wallet, get axes, uh, uh, create your account, and then download and play. So let's hit the get started button. I think I already have this open. Yep. Um, again, if you're if you're using Chrome for MetaMask, I do recommend just keeping it in Chrome. So you uh, hit the Chrome button, and then you want to download the Ronin wallet extension. I've already got it downloaded. 
so it is in my um, my extension dashboard here so here's my run, run and wallet just to show you I have a little bit of wrapped ETH. so WETH this WETH is actually wrapped ETH um, just to give you a heads up there um, and then the next thing to do is to make an account so um, or actually to get axes so to get axes go to marketplace.axieinfinity.com and then you're going to go to the marketplace tab up here on the top left and this is where you're going to spend your ethereum you're going to want to make sure that your ronin wallet is connected so mine is already connected here it's this top deal here if you don't see your um actually you know what first thing you do have to do i'm sorry one thing you do have to do is deposit um to your ronin wallet so before you can purchase axes and this was a tough um, step for me because i didn't realize how many transactions you had to do just to get your ethereum or even your dollars to Ethereum, Ethereum to MetaMask, MetaMask to Ronin, and then Ronin is where you, you is where you have your your purchased um, wrapped ETH so that you can start buying axes. So you want to hit deposit to Ronin. This is my um, MetaMask wallet already connected here, but just to show you, you do need to go to your Ronin wallet. You want to hit this copy address button here and then you'll want to paste it into your um, Ronin address field and then you're going to want to choose Ethereum. Now you can um, deposit all the like SLP, um, I believe you can buy on Binance, um, AXS tokens you can get in Coinbase and Binance um, and then of course ETH. So let's let's choose ETH and then I would hit max here and then let's hit the next button see what um, I'm going to confirm and then see what happens here so yeah it's going to open my uh, MetaMask wallet um, and then I'm going to the gas fees here unfortunately are quite high so this is what I'm seeing a lot so if you go to um, a place like ultrasound.money um, you're going to see the, the, the gas fees in Guai here so this is the Guai is the um, you know the Satoshi of of Ethereum or the subdivisions of Ethereum um, so 93 Guai is not terribly have actually seen it quite a bit higher uh, nearing 200 um, even higher than that sometimes um, I do recommend going and here let's just do it right now um, let's search for best times for oops, um, to uh, best times to um, uh, best times for ETH gas fees. Here we go. Um, so I went to this site, Paxful.com, before to check out what are the best times of day for Ethereum gas fees and. Um, just look at these numbers here you can you can do this research on your own or you can just watch my video um, you know today is Thursday um, so 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. <laughs> would be the best times uh, I think the last time I purchased um, some or made a made a transaction between my uh, MetaMask wallet and my Ronin wallet was on a Friday so I only had to wait until 10 p.m. and it actually worked out pretty well I think I spent um, somewhere in the range of $32 and you can just be patient um, if you if you patiently watch for you know maybe 20 minutes um, on a on a decent um, day where Guai is closer to you know 40 to 50 you'll see uh, gas prices uh, from MetaMask to the Ronin wallet um, in the neighborhood of you know $35 $40 so um, Guai does not translate dollar for dollar in fact because you're transferring from MetaMask um, the, the Coinbase to, based to MetaMask wallet is a very simple transfer as far as um, the transaction goes on the Ethereum network it's just a 
a transfer transaction. So what you're actually doing from MetaMask into the Ronin wallet is actually bringing your your money, uh, you're wrapping it inside of a um, a Ethereum um, smart contract, and that actually costs more. Um, sometimes three, four times more than you would see on a, just a generic transaction. Um, I do know that the um, if you go to let's see if I can find the site here. There is a way. I think it's maybe like Ronin Dex. I'm gonna see if this gives us. Um, there is a Axie Infinity um, uh, decks of sorts. You can actually purchase, um, you know, wrapped ETH and um, and and uh, AXS tokens and SLP tokens directly inside of Ronin. Um, in which case you would just need a Ronin wallet um, to access um, the the marketplace or to play Axie Infinity. However, um, this is not an available option in the United States yet. So if you're outside of the United States, um, I'll put a link to that website in the comments below um, so that you can directly purchase um, you know, wrapped Ethereum within Ronin and then you have far less um, network fees. But right now, um, spending fifty dollars to get your axes or your your Ethereum into the uh, Ronin wallet um, through from Coinbase to MetaMask to Ronin is going to cost you roughly fifty dollars. A little bit higher if you're if you're not patient, you know, during the day. Look for those um, those faster times um, on the um, the Paxful.com blog. I'll link to that in the the comments below as well, so you can find that easy. But um, yeah, so this these were the, the hoops that I jumped through, guys, and this is why I'm making this video to make it easier for you to fi figure out how to get um, Ethereum into the Axie marketplace. So the next step is um, to now that you've got a deposited, you know, you've deposited your 0.2 ETH or uh, you know your thousand USD verse of verse um, worth of ETH into your uh, your Ronin wallet, and now you're ready to purchase your Axie and your Axies. Now, uh, your your actual these are actual NFTs, guys. They're they're one of a kind. Um, each Axie is is slightly different than all others, um, so that you get um, something that is unique to you that you can that you personally own on the. There's you know verifiable proof on etherscan.com that you own these NFT tokens, these NFT characters, and you can sell them at a later date on the marketplace in Axie Infinity for now, but also in the future you may be able to sell them just like you would an NFT in OpenSea or um, these sorts of places. So um, I do recommend you spend some time. Um, one, one place to look is Axie Zone. Um, Axizone has a couple of cool tools here. Um, resources for beginners. This is huge, guys. So um, your Axie Finder, um, you know your card. Um, there's a breeding simulator. There's the the guides, the the buffs, the debuffs, um, the Axie stats, the card tier list, and the Axie builds. I do recommend you spend some time in here. I personally will give you a little bit of advice, but um, my recommendation is to um, you can actually you can actually watch um, you know some of the top players play at Axie Zone um, with some uh, basically some recorded uh, uh, video from from the from the players, which is really cool. There's I'm not sure how they do it, but there's a porting of the Axie Infinity content into Axie Zone, and you can actually watch. Some of the top players and how they interact in the world. Um, my recommendation is to get um, a plant to start. Get it with, um, you know, a high shield, maybe a self heal or a um, or a energy steal, and then um, get a 
either two aquas after that, um, or get a beast and a bird. And I went beast bird on the way in, uh, first of all. My first team was pretty weak, to be honest with you. I didn't do enough research ahead of time. Let me show you my first team. <clears throat> so if you go to my account and then inventory, you can see. My first team was this guy who was my plant. Um, he was actually faster than most plants, which actually did him a disservice. Um, this card heal, uh, here, Prickly Trap, gives you 120% damage if you attack last. Um, being that this guy had a uh, Lucas Eyes, which is a bird trait, actually made him faster than other plants. Um, and kind of uh, messed up the multiplier there on that specific card. Make sure you, you do your due, dil due diligence. Go in here, check out these cards. Um, you know, the green here is the uh, the shield that you get to use during that, if you play that card. The red is the amount of damage that you deal. And then on top of that, if, um, you know, there's a different multipliers in these. That that's the base um, attack and base shield. Base attack meaning that if you have a plant that's attacking a another plant, you get kind of the base. But if you attack something that's weak to plants, um, I believe. Uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I believe aquas are. Um, susceptible to plants in particular or or you know there's there's a um I'll link to it in the in the comments but there's a there's a triangle if you will of all the classes and you know um it shows which are weak and strong to each other so um you want to research that as well before you even get in to start buying but my first um three axes were this guy here I bought him for um, 0 0.09 ETH, which at the time was about uh, $280. He was my most expensive um, of the three. And then I got this bird, which this bird is actually pretty good. The only thing I would recommend is not getting the scaly spoon, although it's not a terrible um, trait to have. Uh, this dark swoop is a fantastic card. It um, allows you to bypass um, the other team's uh, tank or their plant, um, so you're able to kill their fastest player. It targets the fastest um, other, the uh, you know opponent's fastest um, axie, and so um, pairing it with ill omens and then this all out shot. All out shot is crazy. It um, it deals 120 damage, but it also takes 30% of your um, the birds uh, health away as well so um, it is a zero cost card which means you don't need any energy to cast it which comes in clutch especially in the end of game where you might only be getting um, you only get two energy per round so if you're if you're uh, fighting against somebody who really needs that energy and you need to cast more than two cards to take them out <clears throat> the all out shot um, is a it comes in clutch um, but uh, I also had this beast card, and when I went in, went and did, did my research, I found that um, you know Ronin imps are fantastic, especially if you get them with a Nutcracker. Well, I didn't know that there's Nutcracker ear. <laughs> the ear and the eyes don't have any effect on the cards that you get with your axes, and um, you know I thought thought this one was cool. Especially with the swallow, which is an was an aqua uh, mouth part. It's, it looks like this catfish mouth here. Um, it does uh, heal your um, your beast in this in this regard, but um, it doesn't deal a lot of damage. 80 damage is not high in comparison to um, you know the 110, 120 that you saw with my bird before. Um, the Ronin imp. Is fantastic because Ronin itself is um, something that comes in clutch when you have when you play it with two other cards. It auto crits, so it does double damage the 75 base. And then if you play it with Ivory Stab, which is the imp, this uh, 
this horn card here, it automatically gives you a um, a uh, an energy as long as you play it with three cards because the crit and the ivory stab go together to give you a <clears throat> energy gain. So, and then this Luna Absorb, uh, the Cotton Tail uh, Tail card here gives me Luna Absorb, and that's fantastic when I just need more energy to play against um, some tougher characters. So you can really add these up and do a lot of damage and then get a little heal. What I've done with newer Axes, guys, I've, I'm up to nine now. I, uh, I've, I purchased three more and then I started breeding and have a total of nine because of the breeding that I've done. My favorite team right now is actually this beast right here with the Cottontail. It does have the Nutcracker Mouth. Nutcracker is fantastic because if you put two Nutcracker cards together, it does 120 damage per Nutcracker. Um, 120% damage, I should say. So if you're playing Nutcracker in particular against a plant, um, you're doing like 165 damage per card with that multiplier, which is fantastic. And it still gives you a decent amount of shield. So 30 shield times two um, can really help you if um, if your opponent doesn't expect you to put a shield on your beast card. Um, so that's enough about that for now. I do, um, one thing left to talk about real quick is just my, my favorite bird right now. Um, headshot is huge. Uh, the Kestrel horns, um, this cool uh, horn feather thing here is fantastic for um, not only giving a lot of damage, 130 damage with this card, it also um, disables the target's um, horn card, so that's very strategic if you want to use it with the right, if you know, if you want to disable the other team's horn. So playing this against, say, a um, a Ronin Imp situation will will keep them from gaining energy um, with their with their Ronin combo, Ronin Imp combo. So they're just not able to play the card. Period. Um, it disables it entirely. So pretty cool uh, setup there. I do play it with um, typically with this plant here, which has the um, this is a pretty standard build for plants. It does have the Lucas eyes, so it is a little fast, um, but it's, he's um, got high health, uh, low low-ish speed f for having a locust. He's still pretty fast, most faster than most plants. And then um, morale and skill come into effect. Um, morale's big for a beast card in particular, or like a bird card, where you're gonna have a, a better chance of going into last stand or doing crits. Um, <clears throat> with your tank, it's less critical. Pardon the pun. So um, carrot hammer is really great. Gets you uh, an, an an energy um, uh, advantage if you, your shield is broken. Um, October Treat, this pumpkin um, uh, tail card is fantastic for putting up a, just a massive shield. Um, Vegan Diet is where it's a self-heal card. It does um, 75 damage and you get 75 back in return. And the Prickly Trap, as I mentioned before, gets 120% multiplier if um, you're the last one to play in that round, which doesn't mean that you have to be the the slowest character, just means the, you're the, the last one to attack in that round. But anyway, that's a little bit more inside information that you need to know. I would say that this uh, setup, these three axes, is probably going to cost you in the neighborhood of $1,000 between the three. Um, right now, you can actually go to the marketplace and um, do some addition based on the time stamp of when you're watching this video. It could be drastically different, guys. I've seen um, floor axes. You know, these floor axes are just crazy uh, bread metas that have very little. I mean, this this guy's actually pretty good, but I don't even think he's purchasable. Yeah, purchase failed. So um, some of these are, you know, super bottom, like floor axes are able to be purchased. But um, what I would do is go into the uh, the general parts and stats page and then make sure that you are um, using a pureness of five or six depending on um, if you want to breed or not. This is especially helpful with your tank. Um, 
I would put it on six to get your tank. I would go and click plant and then I'd add in my pumpkin, cactus, and carrot. And then <clears throat> don't make sure you don't do the tiny carrot. That's a that's actually a reptile card, so the carrot, make sure it's green for the plant. And then uh, choose a mouth. So I like uh, vegetal bite, but another very common one is serious. <clears throat> I'm sorry, v uh, vegan diet is, is the other one that gets you the, the um, 75 hit, but then the 75 back in self-heal. Serious is um, something that you can actually steal in energy from the other team. And don't underestimate how important uh, energy is when playing, especially in the PvP arena. Alright, so the next thing you'll do is purchase your axes, and then they'll go into your Ronin wallet, and then you can go to my account, and then in your inventory you'll find your axes. Okay, so the next thing you'll want to do <clears throat> is go back to axieinfinity.com and um, hit the play now button and this is where um, you can download your um, your the the actual um, so they're testing right now for iOS I just wanted to click on it just to see if it was going to work but that's not working um, Yes, play now, and then um, it automatically downloads for um, for Mac as soon as you hit this. So um, downloading Mavis Hub for Mac OS OS now, um, you will need at least three axes to start playing. Yes, got it. Okay, so go to your um, your downloads folder. It automatically shows at the bottom here with um, Chrome. So click on that open it up, um, move Mavis Hub into your applications folder. I've already got it downloaded and installed. So you go over to Mavis Hub and this is um, this is interesting. So Axie Infinity is the first game in the Mavis, um, you know, Sky Mavis is the parent company that created Axie Infinity. Their first game is Axie Infinity. Um, there will be games in the future. Uh, Project L is interesting. I haven't heard anything more about it, but keep your ears peeled. And maybe the time, by the time you're watching this video, there might be Project L, um, you know, shown there or some sort of leak, or maybe if it's even a full game by the time you're watching this. However, how to play Axie. So, um, all you have to do, once you've downloaded Sky Mavis, you hit the play button, and Axie Infinity will load. <clears throat> Doesn't take very long, which is awesome. And then you'll f you'll want to immediately go into Axies and then hit the button Sync Axies. Um, this will be empty if you're just getting started. So you'll want to make sure you hit Sync, and then um, you can view your details of each one. Um, and then you'll want to set up a team. So I've set up these these teams. I did have one with my original team here. This is the one I use for the adventure mode, which is the player versus computer. Um, and then I use primarily this, uh, the team I showed you before, to play um, the PvP. And so I'll select that. And then here's where you get started. So the adventure mode, I just want to show you what that looks like. I'm not going to show you how to play it, but um, this is the place to get started, just to start earning SLP, guys. Um, you go in here, you click the first round, you can hit start. Um, it loads for a couple of seconds here. <clears throat> and then this is your first round. You have these three little blobs that you're going against. If you were in, um, if you know, this is the classic look of the uh, PVE or uh, player versus computer mode. Um, so I'm just going to show you real quick how this works. All out shot's going to take a little life from me, but I don't care because it's going to take out his, the enemy pretty easily. I'm just going to play all the cards right now, except for this um, uh, dark swoop because 25 is not going to do a lot of damage for me. 
And this will actually start out quite a bit lower as far as the, um, the health of the opposing team in PvE. In PvE, you level up your axes to, um, to gain more experience, and with each experience level, you get more health. Um, this team is actually fairly low in health re in regards to the PvE mode. Um, in fact, I should be able to beat it pretty easily, but if I don't, here I'm going to show you what this looks like. So here's the multiplier double nutcracker. Um, it says 105, but look what it actually does in damage, 145. Pretty cool. So one more guy to kill here, just want to show you how it works should be able to knock them out pretty easily. Um, let's just play all four of these. Let's see what happens here. 130, which is 152 because um, my bird is stronger in comparison to that little um, monster. And I made a victory. So, yay, victory, right? If you were to um, get into here at level 5, is where you start earning actual SLP tokens. So if you win level five, you get two every time you play it. Um, if you get to level, I think this is what, nine? Yep, nine here, right here. Um, level nine gives you four each time you play. Some of these throughout will give you two, give you four. It kind of just randomly does it depending on which um, level you're at. I do recommend um, as quickly as possible guys use your energy. So this is the energy up here I don't have any right now because I've used it. I've played it for the day. My personal my energy um, renews every day at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. ish So I get 20 because I have uh, Three to nine axes if you get nine axes you get I believe it's 20 more I think you go up to 40 at that point, which is fantastic. I've been thinking about purchasing a, a floor axi just to get me that extra energy per day. Um, but start here, make your way up to level five as soon as possible, and then spam this guy. And then um, to level up your um, your team so that you can get all the way to level nine, and then spam nine. So I'm my other team. <clears throat> this Bullerin axis, right? They are, um, a couple of them are at 19, another is at 18, and this is where I can actually win consistently on level 9 and make 4 SLP with every match. And this is, this match is, um, as you saw in this first one that I show you, it only had one scene with three um, of the Shamira or the bad guys, the bad monsters, well, um, by level 9 you have three uh, tiers, so you have one round with three Shamira, and then another round with three more Shamira, and then the last round is typically like a boss round where there's a little bit tougher. Sometimes um, there will be a tougher one in the second round, it just depends. Level nine is where you want to get as soon as possible. In fact, I wouldn't even waste your time in the, in the um, arena mode until you've gotten to, um, you've spent all your energy, um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't use, energy in the arena mode guys until you've made it to level 9 and 19, 19 and 18 at least um, which will take you some like if you play this every day for a couple hours um, you'll probably it'll probably take you a week or two to get to level 9 just just to give you a heads up it's taking me longer because I spent a lot of time in the arena the arena depending on when you're playing and um, right now we're in between um, seasons. Um, season 18 finished uh, at the end of September this year. Um, season 19 will start soon. <clears throat> they haven't announced it yet, so we don't know exactly when. But in between seasons is a time to spend some time in the arena. Um, fewer people are playing because um, um, when you are playing in the arena during a season, you have the chance of winning AXS tokens, which is the governance token that I talked about very early in this um, video, and that's the one that's at $125 um, a coin. SLP, the one that you're going to be winning in adventure mode and occasionally in arena, um, is about nine cents to eight cents is where it's been regulated or not regulated, but that's where the the current price is at 
for SLP. Um, you know, depending on when, when you watch this, it could be, you know, skyrocketing or it could be as low as, you know, six to five cents is the lowest I've seen it um, in the last couple months here. I do, um, I do think we'll see an upshot as, as soon as we see more players to the Axie Infinity Marketplace in the game itself. So I'm hoping that with this video, there's more people playing Axie Infinity. Um, so guys, please leave your questions in the comments below. I love being in the comments. I, I answer every single one that I can, um, which is almost every one right now because I have, I have a very small channel at this point. I would like to see that grow, but I will answer your questions. Just message me in, in you know, by, by putting a question in the app. If you need more advice, I would um, recommend that you follow, follow me over at Instagram. Um, I'm on all things ETH there, and you can message me directly, um, and we can talk about um, you know specific issues. I did make a video, guys. Um, when I first got started, I thought I sent Ethereum to the wrong address and um, go check out my page if that's something that you accidentally did too um, <clears throat> I made a video on how to re get that back um, I lost my ETH so um, I sent my Ethereum to what I thought was my Ronin wallet on the Axie Infinity Marketplace turns out it was my Ronin address, which is a, a physical address on the Ethereum network, thankfully, and I was able to use my uh, private keys from my Ronin wallet to um, to uh, recover ETH in a MetaMask that I address or a, a, an Ethereum address that it was accessible through MetaMask um, to recover about five hundred dollars in ETH that I thought I had lost, which thank God I was able to recover. Um, it did cost me a little bit in transaction fees to recover, however, it was far less than the $500 that I thought I lost, which is fantastic. Um, again, um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, make sure you like the video, uh, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and if you like coffee and crypto, check out my um, freegishcoffee.com to get roasted to order 12 ounce uh, bags of coffee sent straight to your door if you're in the continu continental United States. Um, it's fantastic go coffee guys. Um, I, I personally uh, work with them so it is supporting uh, this channel if you purchase coffee. Fantastic family owns business in the Midwest and they ship all over the con continental United States. You usually get it within, you know, uh, 24 hours if you're in the Midwest, up to two days on the coast, but still you're getting freshly roasted to order coffee beans sent directly to you. And if you use code FREESHIPUSA at checkout, you get free shipping anywhere in the continental United States. So go to freedishcoffee.com if you like coffee and crypto and purchase some to help this channel get some more, um, you know, to keep it moving, to support me. Thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you on the next one.